Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we'll be looking at web scraping using web APIs. Now a web API is different to a normal web page because it lays out information in a different way making it easier to read and to draw information from for things like web scraping. And web scraping is simply getting information from websites. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to be using a GitHub API um, and then we're going to be getting information from that and then printing it out and seeing what we get. So let's uh, head on over to uh, the spider, which is my Python shell that I'm using, and let's get started. So let me zoom in. So as you can see, I've got definitions of web scraping here and APIs, what a, what a web API is, because there are many different types of APIs. Uh, they're very basic definitions, but I think that's the simplest way as I can explain it. First thing we're going to do is import the requests module. So we're going to import requests as RQ. And then what we're going to do is create a payload, which is, sent, which is essentially the information that we want. And we're going to display how we want to, and then in the payload, we're going to define how we want the information to be displayed. So quite simply, we're going to type in payload equals, and then this is where we define how we want it to be laid out. So key one, and then we want our value one to be like that. And then what we can do is we can also say key one value two here. Let me, make, let me just do this, make it a bit quicker and easier, like that. So that's our payload, so that's what information is going to come to us and how it's going to be displayed. The next thing to do is to go to print out a code which goes to the API and gets the payload for us. So that's what we need our requests module for. rq.get, there we see. Uh, and then we type in our API, which is this here. This is our API from GitHub. If you're interested, feel free to do that. There are also many other APIs out there. Amazon has some. Um, lots of supermarket websites have some. You know, you just have to basically fish around Google. You just type in whatever company you want to get the API from, and then space API into Google, into a search engine. And then um, if it has it, it'll pop up. If it doesn't, then um, it won't. So that's one thing you have about, um, that's one problem. Not all websites have APIs. So you've got to be careful about that. The next thing we'll do is call our payload equals payload. And then what we're going to do is have lots of commands. So let me just print out all these commands here. And let's go through them. So first thing we'll do is we're going to print out the URL. I think that's kind of pointless seeing as we have the URL here, but let's print it out anyway. Then we're going to print out the encoding, which will be exactly the same as this. And then we're going to print out the time as elapsed in getting that information. And then we'll print out the status code, which is the HTTP request code. And normally it is 200, which basically means you know everything's OK. That's what 200 means. So if you want to know more about HTTP requests and the codes, just type that into Google and you'll come up with a whole list of different numbers and what they mean. And then we're going to print out our, all our values that we want. So let us then print this out. And here we go. This is our output. You'll see it below my face. See, time elapsed. We're talking milliseconds here. And you get all this information, date, status, you know, uh, uh, websites, links, and so on and so forth. So we just got a ton of information from the internet, from the GitHub API. And that is web scraping at its most basic. So I really hope you enjoyed that, enjoyed that tutorial. Check out more on my uh, channel and feel free to subscribe. 
and share it if you really like it. Thanks very much for watching.